I've come to see myself as a part of nature and the cycles, the rhythms, you're just all part of it. And when you're feeding, you're feeding off the land, the land's providing for you. Because I'm here. I want to listen and observe and watch everything else. I don't want to be noticed. I hear a phoebe calling, I know there's water around me. Sometimes I'll scan the mountains and look for some circling turkey vultures. Because I'll find a dead animal that kind of tells me what sort of animals are living in the area. This wilderness, they could care less whether you live or die. In fact, they want you to die. So then when your rotting carcass is on the ground, and it'll help fertilize all the other plants and all the fungus and everything else. So when you're out here in the wilderness, don't think you're anything special. If we allow gravity to control our lives and our thoughts, where would we be? It's, it's, it's a, a huge shift in, in physics, physics and in mentality. You gotta push, push yourself, yourself, push your perception of the possibilities. And through that experimentation, we develop, we progress. Tradition is a very difficult thing to change. We pursue these activities because we think they're life-giving. By looking at it scientifically, it's just as appropriate as in the other way, aesthetics or just simple emotional pleasure. And now, here he is from the Timber Lanefield Studios. The man who refuses to back down and continues to fish his own way with the fish and reed on top. The real rebel. He's a maverick. He fishes his own way with the fish and reel on top. He doesn't buy fishing weights. He makes his own out of mussel shells. He doesn't need any waders when he fishes. He's a maverick. He pioneered a new way of fishing with a real arm top. Fishing real on top. Timberlane Films has rocked the world of fishing. The real rebel. He fishes with the real on top.